So, uh, guys, I found Aaron Stearns uh, quite possibly, well, one of the mo more important people I think that I've ever uh, interviewed because you are a co-writer of Wolf Creek 2. That's right. Um, yes, uh, I've been involved with the Wolf Creek franchise since the start. Mm -hmm. I'm actually in the first movie. I'm one of the nasty truck drivers in the oh. roadhouse. And I'm also in Wolf Creek 2 as a, uh, a policeman at the end. But uh, um, I co-wrote Wolf Creek 2 with Greg McLean. Mm -hmm. and I also wrote the prequel novel Origin, which is out from Penguin Books. Mm, but and, uh, today, I mean, you're here today. You're obviously advertising Wolf Creek 2 and a lot of other stuff here. You've got a uh, yes, we, uh, anthology, I think it's called. We're about to crowdfund a new anthology mm -hmm. called Cthulhu Deep Down Under mm -hmm. that uh, is being edited by three of the giants in Australian horror, Chris Sequera, Steve Proposh, Bryce Stevens. And uh, they've commissioned some of the best authors mm. in uh, horror in Australia to contribute to this Lovecraftian anthology. Mm. We're just about to launch uh, a crowdfunding program to do a print version of this mm. and to do some limited editions as well. So we're about to, do, um, to start the launch today. OK, now it should be pointed out that well, we are a pre-record. We'll see this in 2015. So uh, I'm going to assume by then the crowdfunding will be finished and yes. we'll say okay. finished successfully and blew all the water out of its... I'll, I'll redo that if you want. Yeah. Oh, no, it's OK, because yep. they know we're on pre-record, don't you? <laughs> uh, but so the point is, by 2015, when everybody sees this, I'm going to assume that you will have hit your target, knocked it out of the park and made everyone very happy. Yes. Well, Cthulhu Deep Down Under, which was published last year in 2014, ah, right. is now available. It has stories by some of the best horror authors in Australia. Mm -hmm. um, my first piece since the Wolf Creek uh, novels is in this. It's called Vanguard. Mm -hmm. It's a 20,000 word novella. And uh, it was my attempt to do an action version of a Lovecraftian story. So I, it's also I've written that as a screenplay and mm -hmm. I've had some interest from it. So yeah. this might be your first chance to experience what the writer of Wolf Creek 2 did after. Um, well, it took us a long time to get the sequel up, but uh, it was very, very important, I think, for us to do, because when we were writing the sequel, we wanted to do something new, we wanted to play with uh, the idea, and uh, we came up with what we thought was a very cool action, uh, you know, fun sequel for that movie, and we, we did everything we could to get that movie made, and number one at the box office, um, we won Best Screenplay at the Madrid International Fantastic Film Festival recently. Um, I just got my award for that the other day. Um, you should have it on the amazing. table. I should have, you should have put it here. I should have here. brought it. There. I should have brought it. But well, yeah. There's still, there's still tomorrow. There's still time. Yeah. And look, hopefully there's more in the Wolf Creek series. So, uh, you know, we, we're doing we're doing prequel novels based on Mick Taylor. Uh, it's a huge world. Mm. And he's the most iconic horror villain in Australia. Actually, here's his question then. Uh, because it's the way everything's going. And, I mean, at the end of his hall, there is a line of people that the show is like, would you ever want to do something like Wolf Creek, the TV show? Well, look, um, I don't know. I mean, there's, there's Wolf Creek, the ride at the moment mm. at um, Warner Brothers Movie World. I don't know if you know that. Uh, this well, will I be, do now. Yeah, well, for Fright Nights, uh, which is the Halloween mm. uh, festival that they have in October um, at Movie World, their feature maze this year is Wolf Creek 2, and you literally get chased around by Mick Taylor. Um, all, the, all of the props for the movie are actually at my house and they came and picked those up. Uh, the actual blue ute is, is at, uh, movie, at Warner Brothers Movie World at the moment. There's, there's a huge world for this TV series, don't know, we'll see. Um, there are definitely more ideas in the, in the novel series. Uh, we were looking at graphic novels at one stage and uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, you know Mick, Mick Taylor, people want to know more about him. And that's why, I, that's why I jumped at the uh, the chance to write the prequel uh, when he was when he was young because I had my own ideas about where Mick Taylor came from, uh, what he must have gone through to become what he did. And for me, it was like writing the Dar the Darth Vader origin story. This was my chance to write Mick Taylor's origin story. I, I, uh, g given what Lucas did to the the, the, I the to origin properly. story, yeah, I, I... I wanted to do it properly, and I used all. I used all of the good stuff that he did and I learned from his mistakes and I've had, you know, great great feedback. Um, uh, you know, one of the first reviews said it was potentially the best serial killer novel they've ever read. So That's that's uh, some big praise there. Look, I 
I approached that as wanting to do a literary version of that uh, of an Australian Gothic novel. I didn't want to just do a rehash or a, you know, or exploit, um, just do a quick buck. You know, I really wanted to do something great. So, well, with that, uh, I hope you have a good con. I hope you make a pile of money, and yeah, there's not much more to say beyond that. And enjoy the con. Thank you. Thank you.